Oh, so you thought the butt hurt, the mass hysteria, and the temper tantrums were finally over. Nah, ah. to be able to introduce for the first time ever anywhere the 45th president of the United States of America, Donald J. Trump. <laughs> this is the anti-capitalist block of Disrupt J20. Yeah, I'd like more capitalism, please, with a side serving of capitalism. If only they put as much energy into having an actual argument as they did smashing Starbucks windows. One, two, three! Fuck the police as me! Four, five, six! Fuck the police as me! Seven, eight, nine! Fuck the bourgeoisie! Ten, eleven, twelve! Fuck the bourgeoisie! Thirteen, fourteen... Oh jeez, get a new line already! These are the anti-fascists who physically attack people with whom they disagree. In other words... They're the actual fascists. Love Trump's hate, they scream maniacally as they punch you in the face. Their goal was to block entrances and stop people from attending the inauguration. Yeah, how did that work out for you? But this trash can really got shown who was boss. Oh yeah, and I thought building walls was racist. Unless you're building human walls to stop other people exercising their First Amendment right to peaceably assemble. That's just fine. And unite the civilized world against radical Islamic terrorism, which we will eradicate completely from the face of the earth. This is a terrifying speech. The biggest cheer of all came when Trump promised to wipe out Islamic terrorism. Yeah, Trump actually vowed to stop Islamic terrorism. I mean, how dare he? That might offend Islamic terrorists. Terrifying. If you thought you'd never see anything on TV as frightening as 9-11, this was it. But the consequences of this are far more damaging. So a Trump presidency is more damaging than America's deadliest terror attack. Thousands of dead Americans and two wars that cost over five trillion dollars. Yeah, that's mass hysteria in tweet form. This New York Post writer compared Trump's inauguration to Pearl Harbor and 9-11. Right, so thousands of lost lives is equal to your hurt feelings. Yeah, I don't think so, moron. I'm no longer quite so convinced by this democracy thing. Yeah, the thing about democracy is that you can't just cancel it when you don't get the result you like. Maybe you'd be more at home in North Korea, where they don't have to worry about bothersome things like free elections. If somebody can successfully assassinate Trump and his VP today, that'll be lovely, lol. Well, that's strange because, and yeah, call me crazy, but I don't associate live, televised, blood-curdling assassinations with the word lovely. Only way I'll watch Trump's inauguration tonight is if someone promises to assassinate him on live television. Yeah, but come on, what about Melania's dress? If anybody does assassinate Trump, I hope they take out Pence first. I think he's worse. There speaks the voice of reason. Death to the fascist insect who preys upon the blood of the people! <laughs> Yeah, you seem to have confused Trump with a monster from a 1950s B-movie. Today my doctor told me I was pregnant. At first I was so happy, but then I realised what it means. I don't really want to do it, but I'm considering making an appointment to get an abortion because I don't want to associate the day I find out about my child with the day that fascist pig Donald Trump became president of my wonderful country! I'm just so emotional right now. Can anyone give me any advice? Here's some advice. Make an appointment with a shrink, and for the good of humanity, stop having unprotected sex. Last November, I called Trump a fascist in this speech. With his inauguration tomorrow, I feel it more than ever. Yeah, you don't know what a fascist is, do you? Less than 24 hours until a dangerously insane fascist liar becomes president of the United States! So, you think a dangerous fascist is about to become president of the most powerful country in the world, and all you can do is tweet about it. Hey, at least go smash a Starbucks window. At least dress up in denim hot pants and tights for a queer dance party outside Mike Pence's house. So when are we going to have a gay dance-off outside the embassy of gay stoning to death Saudi Arabia that funded a fifth of Hillary Clinton's campaign. No? If someone was cruel enough to assassinate MLK, maybe someone will be kind enough to assassinate Trump. 
Hashtag be kind. Hashtag love Trump's hate. But at least Bill and Hillary Clinton and Michelle Obama enjoyed Trump's speech. <laughs> Donald J. Trump is now President of the United States. I'm triggered.